Hey there, YouTube. Packatech622 here again today. Um, with the trade deadline ending earlier today, um, I thought I'd recap trade week for those who maybe haven't been following it so closely and kind of analyze it. I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty knowledgeable guy about baseball. Um, I've played it since I was like four. Um, and yeah, I feel like I know a lot about the game. So I thought I'd analyze some stuff. I know you've probably heard ESPN analysts do it better. But um, I thought I'd throw in my two cents for anyone who cares to watch. Um, so I'd start all the way back with the Ichiro trade, I guess. I mean, I may have already mentioned it in one of my videos, but um, this wasn't a great trade. Um, I know, um, Cod Rage Master, you were saying that um, it was a great trade for the Yankees. Uh, they couldn't get Justin Upton, but um, I actually heard a rumor late last night. I know the Diamondbacks didn't make any huge trades. But there was a rumor going around that the Diamondbacks were looking to shop ja, um, Justin Upton for a huge tr for a huge player. Um, I took that to mean someone like Cliff Lee. So um, I thought Diamondbacks were going to try and make a deal for Cliff Lee that involved Justin Upton. Um, so that sounded pretty um, much like Kurt Gibson was willing to trade Upton. So uh, I think the Yankees could have gotten Upton rather than Ichiro. I mean, Ichiro's on the downside of his career. Uh, yeah, sure, the Yankees do need speed, but they could have gotten it with someone else. Uh, there are faster players out there who could, they could have gotten for a lot cheaper and younger, like Peter Borges and the Angels. I know the Angels don't really want to trade him. The Yankees definitely could have gotten him. Um, yeah, insane fielder. Really fast on the base paths. Um, his inside the park home run this year. He trotted down to first base, and he still did it in like 14 seconds. Something insanely like that against the Twins. Um, yeah, so Peter Borges is the real deal. Um, so Angel Yankees could have gotten him. There are many better players other than Ichiro, who's going to retire soon in a few years. Um, his best years are behind him. He's no longer having 200 hit seasons and 300 seasons. but um, Or not 300 hit seasons, but like batting 300 seasons. Um, um, then I guess I'll go Hanley now. Hanley to the Dodgers. Um... Yeah, that was a pretty good deal for the Dodgers, I must say. Uh, converted him to third base when they acquired Reyes. Um, huge for the Dodgers because they have Juan Uribe and Jerry Harrison um, playing third. And those guys weren't getting it done. Harrison's much better than Uribe. Uh, Uribe is batting like Mendoza line, two, three home runs this year. Something awful. Yeah, I mean, I go to Dodger games sometimes because I live in L.A. and they're close. But, um... Oh my god. Watching Uribe hit is so painful because he makes mistakes in them. He makes mistakes at the plate that I wouldn't make. Like, he'll swing at so many bad pitches. Um, he'll often end up on his back foot when he swings. Just, uh, it's, it's ugly to watch. I'm sorry for you Dodger fans out there. I mean, I mean, I know most Dodger fans hate Uribe, but if you like Uribe, I'm sorry, but it's just ugly to watch Uribe hit. Um, so Hanley... He's been doing so well. He's been producing for the Dodgers, the walk-off home run and everything. So um, definitely a great upgrade for the Dodgers. Hopefully they can uh, have him for a year, a few years. Uh, have him for a few years. And while we're on the subject of the Dodgers, uh, they acquired Victorino today. Um, don't, oh, they gave up Josh Lindblom. Okay, Lindblom was solid earlier in the year. He was a, probably one of their best relievers. Then there was one game where he just fell apart. I don't know. I mean, probably don't. Uh, most of you, if you're not a Dodgers fan or live in L.A., won't know this. There was a span of, like, three games where he gave up, like, six earned runs or something like that. And that was the end. I mean, he's been okay since then. The Dodgers have really lost faith in him. They used him as a closer a few times, actually. And he's imploded most of the times since then. Um, I mean, Javi Guerra's... I don't know what's going on with Guerra, but he was a great closer beginning of the year last year. And they brought in Jansen, who's been okay. Uh, but they had Lindblom. There was a series just like last week where Lindblom, they brought Lindblom in to pitch because um, it was an extra inning game or something like that. They used all their pitchers except Belisario and Jansen, who had pitched both the last three days. And um, so they decided to use him. Uh, yeah, Lindblom did not do well. So they brought in Belisario, I think, or Jansen, one of the two guys, and they got out of it. I don't remember the score, the outcome, but I remember Lindblom just isn't, hasn't been effective lately. So, um, I heard rumors that the Dodgers were going to go after Victorino. I knew that, but I heard that uh, the Phillies were going to ask for. I knew Lindblom's be part of the deal, but uh, Tony Gwynn Jr. in return. 
because uh, the dog, because um, yeah, because the Giants, not the Giants, the Phillies were losing uh, their outfielder. They needed outfielders. Um, they lost Pence to the Giants, but I think that deal is where they got their outfielders. I'm not sure who the Phillies acquired, but uh, I heard it was a huge slew of players. I'm sure they got their extra outfielder from that group. Uh, I'm not sure they gave up anyone huge. I think the Giants still have Brandon Belt and all those guys. Um, if not, please comment because I just, you know, I just didn't just hear about this, but um, and I've been working a job last few days, um, so I just got home like an hour ago. Um, yeah, so I just heard about this while I was at work, but I didn't really check. So, yeah. Then uh, so there's the Pence, and then I go Grinky and the Angels. I'll, I'll know most about this one. Uh, Grinky sadly is a free agent after the season. I uh, hit a strong, very strong outing against the Rays on Sunday, but um, sadly Hellickson outpitched him. Um, I watched that game. It was he looked dominant to say the least. A lot of strikeouts, um, good command of his pitches, but uh, Rays hit him. Um, Angels could not hit Hellickson for their lives. Sad, but um, yeah. So then. If the Angels, I know they've already spent a lot of money on Will, money on Wilson and Pujols, but if they can somehow nail down Grinky to like a two-year extension or something like that, it would be absolutely huge. They'd have Heron. I think Heron's a free agent for this year, though, so I don't know what what will happen with him. He's hurt again with another back injury, completely different. I don't know what's up with his back, but my fantasy team is suffering. My fantasy team actually had Weaver, Wilson, and Heron. Um... I actually got a trade for Grinky while he's still in the Brewers, and I actually have four Angel pitchers on my team. Um, and I also have Pujols, of course. The first pick in the draft was Pujols. Uh, not first pick in the draft, but I had second pick in the draft. First guy actually took Matt Kemp, which uh, good and bad with his insane stats, but uh, injuries. Um, so I don't want to hear him talk about my fantasy team. Um, anyway, I'm 11-4, and four, so that's good. Uh, but other trades, other trades. Uh, Dempster going to the Rangers. Um, I heard about I heard about this one just like a few minutes ago. Um, Rangers didn't really give up much, just a bunch of minor leaguers. Um, the Rangers really need someone to match you, Darvish. Uh, and then they have Derek Holland and Matt Harrison on the left side. Um, but uh, actually, I think Holland's hurt, so I never mind scratch that. But they still have Harrison. But uh, Darvish and uh, Dempster will be a deadly combination. Um, I mean, who wouldn't want to have two of the top hurlers in the game? Well, not two of the top hurlers, but uh, the young, not somewhat young, Japanese rookie phenom. And the guy who doesn't get any run support on the Cubs, but still has an ERA that's insanely low. So um, he'll definitely get enough run support with the Rangers, so uh, he'll, the wins will start coming for Dempster. So uh, I actually recommend you go pick him up on all your fantasy teams. I recommend that. I would, but I don't really have any space. So I'll try to make a trade or something. Anyway, that's my two cents on fantasy on the trade so far. I mean, the best one would be Hanley Ramirez. Um, the best one was Hanley Ramirez. Angels Grinky was decent. The worst one was Ichiro. That I'm saying. I'm not trying to be biased here, but I do like I do not like the Yankees, but I'm. Being perfectly honest, they could have gotten someone better. They wanted to. If they had enough money, they could have gone out and gotten Justin Upton. If you really wanted to. Because Upton was not completely off the market. I know that much. I know Kirk Gibson was saying, oh, we're not going to trade him. But late last night, he showed his true colors when he said, we might make a huge blockbuster deal tomorrow. I actually read an article about it. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of tired, but uh, thanks. Sorry if I missed something. I'm about to fall asleep, even though it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, bye.